Señor Presidente de la República Popular China. Your Excellency Xi Jinping, President of the People's Republic of China. Señores y señoras y representantes de los distintos países. Heads of state and government. Muy buenos días. Representatives of countries. Good morning. It is my great honor to attend the third Belt and Road Forum for International Cooperation and address the opening ceremony. As we speak, hegemonies are declining, regional, regional frictions still go on, multilateralism continues to be enhanced. Against such a backdrop, the Belt and Road Initiative, which was proposed on the basis of the principle of building together, has become a promising international initiative for global cooperation. For us, supporters of multilateralism, the BRI is a mechanism that promotes relations among countries. This initiative does not compete with existing regional mechanisms, but promotes synergy by bringing out the strength of participating countries. Over the past years, we see rapid technological advances and a serious climate crisis. All these require us to change the way we produce and consume. This is why today we are now seeing two parallel transitions, the digital transition and the ecological transition. While bringing to us risks, these two transi transitions have also given us vast opportunities. The Argentine government firmly believes that we need to take a cooperative attitude in response to the shared challenges and promote the economic and social development of all countries. This is why we support the three initiatives put forward by President Xi Jinping, namely the Global Development Initiative, the Global Security Initiative, and the Global Civilization Initiative. We also support the eight steps proposed by President Xi Jinping in his keynote speech. Also, in realizing our goals, we see China as an important partner. In developing our bilateral relations, we have become increasingly closer partners with China, and this has always been our goal. In 2014, our two countries established the Comprehensive Strategic Partnership and during my term, Argentina joined the Belt and Road Initiative. We see that the political mission of strengthening bilateral relations continues to go on and we have been keep and we have been working towards this goal. After signing an MOU on Belt and Road Cooperation in June this year, we formulated a detailed cooperation plan which is quite ambitious. We hope that this cooperation plan can significantly enhance Argentina's strategic infrastructure. These days, we will establish a working group which will mark a new step toward implementing the cooperation plan. Argentina's diplomatic relations with China has traversed a fruitful 50-plus years. In recent years, China has become our important partner. During COVID-19, China was our brother in need. When the International Monetary Fund exerted pressure on us, when we had a hard time, China offered us financial assistance. China invested in us and created jobs for our people. China These are not empty words, but real actions. China is now taking part in Argentina's energy transition by financing and taking part in the construction of hydroelectronic plants, wind farms, and photovoltaic stations in Argentina. Take the hydroelectronic plant in Patagonia now under construction as an example. Investment in this project alone is close to 5 billion US dollars. This project will generate clean and renewable energy, which will significantly improve Argentina's energy mix. Chinese investment in Argentina's mining sector is also important. 
in particular in the salt flats from which lithium is extracted. Lithium has now become the core of our energy transition. We stand ready to deepen cooperation with China, increase the added value of Argentina's lithium, improve our export and production profiles, and create more decent and well-paid jobs in Argentina. I also wish to thank President Xi Jinping and the Chinese people for standing with us. As I said, these years have been particularly hard for all of us. For Argentina, it was especially so. COVID-19 and the war has shaken the global economy, and this has made normal exchanges among countries even more difficult. Decline in global trade is one example. At the most critical moment in fighting COVID-19, Argentina fought side by side with China. We got the support and help from China. China donated to us medical supplies. When some countries were hoarding vaccines for their own people, China was the one that offered us vaccines. The assistance we got from China has helped us to meet the basic medical needs of our people. Vaccines have been indispensable. They've helped us to return to normalcy after months of isolation and economic contraction. Such adversity did not stop our two countries from strengthening bilateral relations. We are very grateful to China. When the IMF asks us to repay the debt left by the previous irresponsible government, when a, drought, when a drought has caused our exports to fall, depriving us of foreign exchange of an amount equivalent to 3% of our GDP, China was there to give us financial support. Also thanks to China's support, we've joined the BRICS mechanism. Countries in this mechanism reject hegemonism, respect multilateralism, and are rethinking international relations on that basis. I also support President Putin's initiative on strengthening BRICS cooperation. Your Excellency President Xi Jinping, again, I wish to extend a sincere appreciation to the government you led and the Chinese people. I hope that during this forum we will debate around the core topics you have proposed, such as reflecting on the current international trade, promoting the use of the technologies with smaller environmental impact, developing the digital economy, deepening sub-national relations, and strengthening maritime cooperation. These are topics that will help us to address the challenges we face. In order to successfully overcome them, we need peaceful and cooperative interactions among people of all countries. An old African proverb says, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. At this critical moment, let us walk hand in hand and toward a fairer world that we all dream of. Thank you.